Abby here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lululemon The Rest is Written Crossbody 2 liter. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So this is in the color Heritage 365 Camo Neo Mint Multi Black and this is $58 plus tax. And currently it's just the online only bag, guys. So now I'm gonna walk you guys through some highlight. First off, it has a water repellent fabric and it's easy to wipe clean. It has a two liter capacity. It can be worn four different ways. And on the inside of this pouch, it has a key hook strap. As you guys can see here, you can just clip your key on there so it doesn't go missing. It has two large zippered pockets. It has a sticker logo, as you guys can see right here. This bag also has Lululemon printed on the strap. See here, it's printed in black, which I personally like. I think it's a nice touch. And this is one continuous strap here. There's no kind of overlapping pieces that will be like dangling or anything when you tighten it or loosen it. And when I measure the strap fully extended, it goes all the way to 46 inches at the max length and 29 inches at the minimum length. So I think this should fit a variety of body types very well. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. This is what it looks like on me as a crossbody. This is way number one. All right, so way number two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unclip it. So just push in. And there's another clip actually on the other side. So we're gonna clip it in there. Take some thumb energy to push this little loop, guys. <laughs> So now when I put it back on, I'm wearing it as a regular purse. So this is way number two. Way number three is you can wear it as a belt bag horizontally like this, but you're just gonna need to loosen it so it can fit around your waist. So what I'm gonna do is unclip it, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this tighter. All right, so now I'm just gonna put it around my waist. I'm gonna clip it in over here. All right, so now we're wearing it as a belt bag horizontally. So this is way number three. And of course, you can wear it as a belt bag vertically. That's gonna be the fourth and final way, guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead, unclip it. And then I'm gonna clip it to the strap at the top here. So before we were using the strap down here, but first I'm just gonna put it around my waist, clipping it in. Now wearing it as a belt bag vertically, guys. So comment below, which way do you think looks best out of the four ways I showed you today? All right guys, so I hope you did find it helpful seeing me try this on today. I tried it on a couple different ways. And if you guys are liking this video and want to see me do more Lululemon bag reviews, make sure to like and subscribe. That just kind of helps my videos be promoted to more people and helps the channel grow. All right guys, so as you can see, this does have two pockets here. It has a pocket at the front and then a pocket at the back. So the pocket at the front here is smaller. And when it's opened up, we can see that there is a mesh pocket right here and then kind of an open space for you to put other items. And as I did show you guys before, it does also have the key strap. So coming over to the next pocket, there is a larger mesh pocket over here and a larger internal area to put other items. And coming over to the back, there are no extra pockets here. So now we're gonna see what I typically put inside of my belt bag. All right guys, so I've grabbed a couple of supplies here so you can see what exactly will fit inside of this bag. So I have my sunglasses here, which can actually fit right in this little front pocket. And I'm putting that in the mesh kind of just so it doesn't move around. And then I'm also gonna put sanitizer. And also gonna put my chapstick in here. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and zip it shut. Now the top pocket. I have my little mini wallet here. I'm gonna put that in the inside. I have hand lotion. I have my mask. And just for reference, this is my larger wallet right here. Um, just kind of holding it side by side. It's not gonna fit in here, it's too big. But this can hold a good amount, guys. This has a two liter capacity. And just for your reference, the Everywhere belt bag could only hold one liter. And just a quick comparison for you guys, here I have an Everywhere belt bag, just showing you guys the size difference. They're about almost the exact same in height, but when it comes to width, this one wins, guys. So let me just zip it shut. I mean, you could see there's a huge difference here. You know, a couple differences here. This one does have a little back pocket, whereas, you know, I showed you the back of this one. It does not. And this one, you know, has two separate pockets here. This one has 
one, but when we do open it up, we can see that there's two different mesh pockets on this side, and this one has like, you know, the dual kind of mesh pocket, and this one's a solid one. Also another difference is we have a sticker logo here and a metal logo here. And if you guys are interested in seeing a review on the Everywhere belt bag, you can head to the video on the top right when you're done watching this for more information. Another thing I really like about this bag is it can actually hold a book. You know, pandemic right now, a lot of the times you find yourself waiting in lines to get into stores. And what I do is I'll just take out my book that I have in here and I will just read it while I'm waiting. So I absolutely love that you could fit a book in here because you can't fit a book in a lot of other bags. And honestly, it looks a lot smaller online than it is in person. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys that it can hold the book and it could hold all the other items that I did show you. All right guys, so considering the price, the quality, the color, the functionality, the durability, and the ease of use, I would go ahead and give this a 9.1 out of 10. I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are looking to get the Rust is Written crossbody bag or the Everywhere belt bag, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description below for you to use. And if there's anything I missed that you wanna know, just go ahead and comment below. Thanks for watching guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.